Hello everyone, so my name is Celine and um, I came across the training a bit more than eight years ago now and uh, yeah, it's completely a blessing to be introduced to the magic of reality and for me reality has become uh, ordinary but extraordinary, just super ordinary that it's extraordinary and uh, <laughs> That's just been amazing because I really used to love um, insights and realizations and magic things and I always thought it was a state that wasn't in the ordinary and um, just being introduced to this magic tool of short moments, I've just been able to just completely relax with um, ordinary things like for example wanting to micromanage my partner like wanting to tell him how to do something different or move his body or do, I don't know, do something to him so I don't feel the same. And so I feel more blissful and magic and fine. And um, it's been amazing, like before that was my strategy to micromanage to get better experiences. And uh, now with the short moments, it's just like so magic, just I can... I have the impulse to say something, to do something, and instead of being a puppet on a string, just like automatically obedient to my thoughts and emotions and sensations, and like doing it without a choice, I just relax. And it's, I'm always surprised that that is, the, that is bliss. Like the bliss of like, I'm with him, he's totally annoying, and I'm like, ah, oh, this is so blissful, I don't need to do anything about anything. And um, these little, de like it feel, it seems maybe very small, but it's not. It's like total bliss. And um, there's many examples like this of things I used to do before and that have changed. For example, feeling unworthy. So before I'd feel unworthy and I'd be like, I don't know, indulging, like looking at the thoughts, unworthy. Oh, yeah, I'm not good enough. How? Uh, whatever it is. And um, I remember the first time it was like this breakthrough experience with unworthiness. I was like in the dark in a park and uh, I just went for a wee or something and uh, <laughs> with some friends and feeling awkward and I was like, I'll just go to, I'll just go here. And I remember being, sorry, there's just some details. Anyway, I was under this bush in the park and I remember sitting there like totally unworthy and then being like, ah, oh, just relax and take a short moment with this unworthiness. And suddenly I just saw if anyone else in the world would feel unworthy, like I was especially feeling very close to like teenager girls all over the world. And like with a similar situation, like being with friends or something, feeling awkward, feeling unworthy, taking themselves on the side and feeling unworthy. And I was just feeling like, well, if they would feel unworthy of, because of, being a human being, like, who could be unworthy? Like, I would want to tell them, no, you're, you're powerful, you're beautiful, these thoughts don't mean anything. And I was just thinking that and I noticed like, yeah, I can see for everyone else, unworthiness. Like, who could be unworthy to be a human being? And, and I, so it started like seeing the compassion, the benefit of all, and then it just dawned on me like, ah, so if it applies to everyone else, it applies for me and that benefit of all has really driven me like oh, if I didn't see it for myself I'd be like okay well if I don't want any human being to believe in unworthiness then at least for them I'll uh, I'll just test it and test this and um, take a short moment and see maybe for me too it's it might appear this unworthiness but it's not to be believed in and uh, yeah, there was a breakthrough moment and the support of the Four Mainstays has always confirmed this. Um, I remember asking Candice once in a training about the unworthiness and, uh, and she asked me my experience in the short moment and I, I said, well, in the short moment I see that there's something about me that's a tiny bit okay, even though I feel crazy. There's something that's a tiny bit fine and, and I see it's it's, it's the description doesn't mean anything. And then she just went like, bravo. <laughs> and I remember being like, whoa. And, um, <laughs> and it's this, and since then, just these experiences, these breakthroughs, these support from the trainer, the root trainer, like that comes back to mind. And I noticed this short moments 
become more and more automatic because if I'm uncomfortable out now, I can't just go like a puppet, like following the thoughts and emotions, sensations, indulging, avoiding, replacing. It's too uncomfortable. I'll just, it, what comes to mind is remembering this insight, remembering my root trainer's advice, remembering this tiny glimpse of the magic of reality of being fine. Just being able to lead teams which before I didn't feel I was able to. I, I, was, I always found it very difficult to have an overview because I'd get caught up in thoughts and emotions and I'd get just get involved in that way. And with the short moments, it's just shown me this natural talent of just relaxing back and seeing, oh, that's needed then and this is what's happening later and we need to put this in place. It's just totally effortless, like the perfect knowledge comes in each moment of what's needed. And um, when I don't know how to go about things, uh, I've noticed the, the magic of the community, the group wisdom, the, um, the texts, like if I'm stuck with trying to find a solution, like for example, um, how to, like we're in a team and how to lead more effectively how to have always empowered relating, empowered speech and instead of reacting and maybe feeling a bit angry, angry and speaking from there then just taking a text and just copying it, copying it out without even knowing what it means and then suddenly there's like a key like for example not longer this insight came about where I was wondering about oh, I don't want to be reactive and and just being reminded of perfect love like keeping always on connection with human beings with everyone and uh, and seeing that i don't need to now take it as a as a theory that i'm going to apply to my life oh yes i should keep on always on connection with people then i won't be so reactive it's more like inherent to open intelligence everything that's written in the trainings like in a short moment i noticed ah yeah there is always on connection the only moment I don't see it is when I'm just looking at all the thoughts and emotions and it just, it's just too blurred. And when there's, there's the short moment, it's like, oh yeah, there is always on connection. Oh, how do I want to speak with people? How do I want to be spoken to? And then naturally more uh, effective leadership has come about. And uh, each time there's a response in the texts, in the trainings, in the amazing teachers, <laughs> keeping the time. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs>